2025 didn't have one defining tech story. It had many, but their pattern is the same: more power, more disruption, more risk. This was the year quantum science exploded into everyday reality. The United Nations declared 2025 the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology, signaling a global reckoning with the next computing frontier. Countries and corporations raced to harness qubits, the basic units of quantum computing, promising breakthroughs in cryptography, medicine, and materials. India itself entered this high-stakes arena. A startup unveiled the QPII Indus, a 25 qubit quantum computer, a milestone under the national quantum mission, aiming to tackle problems classical computers can't touch. But quantum isn't the only tectonic shift. I, not the friendly assistant in your phone, but agentic AI, grew teeth in 2025. Models began acting like autonomous agents, able to make real decisions and execute tasks on behalf of humans. This wasn't sci-fi anymore. It began influencing supply chains, finance, warfare simulations, and research labs worldwide. At the same time, medical technology vaulted forward with discoveries that could redefine life expectancy and disease treatment. From new antibody classes targeting malaria to engineered living therapeutics, reshaping biomedicine. But this is where the brutality begins. Breakthrough without trust becomes a weapon. Advanced AI that can operate autonomously also makes decisions beyond human oversight. Quantum computing that could crack encryption also threatens every digital defense system on earth. Biotech that cures diseases without careful ethics can create them faster than we can contain them. And if that weren't enough, infrastructure is cracking under ideological pressure. Some major health agencies now face budget cuts and political interference that undermine the very progress being made. In the shadows of all these achievements, there's a simple pattern. Tech leaps forward faster than society can govern it. No ethics framework for agentic AI, no universally accepted quantum safety standards. No global governance for human biotech risk. The world is building tools that can rewrite living systems and intelligence itself, but political priorities are fractured. Regulatory power is weak and profits still outpace caution. 2025 wasn't just another year of innovation. It was the moment technology stopped being for people and began being about power. Because when machines start solving problems, humans can't even define clearly. The real question isn't, what can technology do? It's who controls it, who benefits, and most importantly, who bears the cost.